Welcome back. And in this episode right here, we're going to be another doing another episode on Solidus. We're going to be focusing on getting our checkout page to work. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, this is where we left off in the previous episode. You know, we have our cart page cleaned up. And if we click on checkout, that will work just fine. And, um, you know, if we don't have an account, um, you know, if we click on create a new account, we're going to get an error. Now, the error is happening because we are loading the taxonomies in our layout. Uh, So let me show you the code over here. So I'm going to load up the code. So the error is basically happening because of our layout. um, Sorry, in the spree layout, spree application. We're using the header, which has um, the taxonomies in there. And that is what's causing um, our error over here. Now, when we're doing the sign up or the login page, we don't actually need to use the taxonomies because the sign up page uh, is being handled by what's called device. Uh, if you're familiar with Rails, device is this authentication gem that you know it takes care of all the authentication stuff for us. So um, those controllers, we have no control over. We can override it, but it's a lot of work. It's not clean. And in general, I think that sign-up pages and login pages should be as simple as possible anyway with just a login box. So in this case, we're not going to uh, load the taxonomies in those controllers. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, we can have alternate layouts um, in our uh, layout here. Uh, And we're going to load it based on like if we have device controller, uh, we're not going to load the taxonomies. And uh, and if we don't, you know, if we actually in the application, the store, then we're going to load the taxonomies. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if I comment this line out over here uh, and I reload the page, you're going to see that it works. So the idea is, um, you know, a simple fix would be just to do unless device controller. And if I do a reload, this will work too. So this method, device controller question mark, checks if the page that we're being rendered is being rendered from a device-based controller. So what we can do is we can write a quick helper um, that will check that for us, but we're not going to do it here. We can. This is a simple fix. But what I'd like to do is keep it clean. So what I'm going to do here is I'm in the spree, I'm going to create a new folder called base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layout called device. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layout called application. The other thing I'm going to do is in the helper here, I have a base helper decorator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add here a uh, method called um, layout partial. And we're going to do if um, device controller then we render spree base uh, device else spree base um, and then application. So what separates the application from the device? Well, if it's application is anything like, you know, when you're browsing products, you can add products to cart, you can go to the cart page, you can go to the checkout page. That's all what I mean by application. And anything like authentication related, like signing up and logging in, that's all device related. So we're going to separate it like that. So if it's a device controller, we're going to render the the device partial. So I have a base folder here and I've got the device and application. And right now it's just one line, but in the future, there may be more. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy everything in the body. So except for the Google Analytics, I'm just going to copy this part here, here into the application and move it back just like that. Tab it back just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a copy and go to device and I'm going to remove the header. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I, you know, um, rendering two things here? So here or I'm going to do the render and then uh, layout partial. And that's going to take care of that, basically. All right, so why am I doing it like this? Well, here's the thing, right? In the device, I may not want to use this, um, you know, all like the sidebar and all this. I want to remove all of this. So what I really want to do is, um, you know, have two separate 
uh, layouts that we can use. And by default, Spree is kind of locked to having one layout. So that's why we're resorting to writing a helper method so that we have we can select uh, the different you know layouts based on our logic. And in this case, the logic is very simple, but later it might get complicated. I don't know. For now, this works. So I'm going to stick with this. And then, um, you know, so we'll, in the uh, next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be cleaning up this page over here. We're going to make it like centered and make everything look really nice. So we might need to change the page structure. So that's why having two is very handy. So we don't need to interrupt the application layout because that works fine the way it is. We want to have the breadcrumbs and all that. But in the device, we might want to keep things simple. We want to remove all this stuff. You know, just keep it very, very clean and simple. Uh, so that is the reason why we want to have two separate layouts like this. So uh, if we hit the browser over here, I'm going to hit reload. It should still work uh, based on our new logic. Uh, if I go back and I go uh, to the card page, you'll see that the card works. I can go to the checkout and then I can go to, so I can use this uh, as a login if I already have an account but I can create a new account. And if I go back, I click on forgot password. It will also work because it's all based on device, right? And we have the logic to check that to switch between the layouts as we need. So that's going to be a very simple episode. Uh, I'm going to keep it very simple now. And in the next couple of episodes, I'm going to clean all of this up and I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly that. Have a good one, guys. Don't forget to share and like. We appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next one.